And I just noticed that, that beautiful streak right there. And I just, I love that streak. As Stephanie George approached age 50, she made a choice. It just wasn't worth the time anymore to cover up the roots because I liked the gray. This week, fast food chain Wendy's Canada swapped its mascot's recognizable red-haired pigtails for gray ones, tweeting, because a star is a star regardless of hair color. One of the latest brands to back former CTV news anchor Lisa Laflamme, whose dismissal by Bell Media raised questions about sexism and ageism. Throughout the pandemic, gray hair has made headlines in many top publications, with The New Yorker calling the phenomenon silver linings and others suggesting ditch the dye. At this Toronto hair salon, there's been a notable increase in the number of clients embracing their gray. By the time that seven, eight months that we were closed and nobody get a chance to color their hair, their roots were out and they actually see how beautiful their gray was. Same in Hollywood and on red carpets. While social media response to recent marketing campaigns has been mostly positive, some experts warn the move can be risky for certain brands. Dove maybe a little more because they have done some work in the past with women's issues. Wendy's, I'm not so sure they have the authority to do that. It's a very controversial territory when brands start to jump in on social issues. When hot button issues don't align with a brand's focus. Where brands get into trouble sometimes is they try and show up in a conversation in a way that seems a little bit opportunistic because deep down it's not really who they are. Stephanie George would like to see more support for aging women who show their true color, not just when it's convenient. The whole patriarchal system of our society where men can go gray and it's distinguished and women go gray and they just look old, it's hogwash. Karen Lieberman, Global News, Toronto.